Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today we're going to be doing an upgrade from Ubuntu 2004 to 2204 on this machine that we use every day. So well, let's get started. Now, I've done upgrades before from 20 to 2022 on other devices on a fresh install. Well, almost fresh install. But compared to this, this machine's been in use for about a year. I have applications installed in here. I have tons of settings and changes that, that I've made onto this box that I have not touched anything. So basically this is a fully used Ubuntu install and I'm planning to do an upgrade instead of a clean install. So will it break? I really don't know because there are a lot of things that I use on this machine that shouldn't be supported in 2204, like especially some of the extensions that I have on here. So hopefully the install will go smooth and everything would be fine. But I did back up this machine, at least the files that I need, I backed those all up. So if it does break, I'm gonna do a fresh install on this guy, but still, let's give it a try. So jumping over to the desktop, apparently, I've never done it this way before, but there's a way to do it through software. So you go to software updater and in here, you should be able to upgrade the entire operating system. Every time that I've done it, I've always used the terminal and you do do distro upgrade or do release update or something. I forgot what it is, but there's a Linux command to jump this version from 22 to the latest stable. I mean, 20.04 to the latest stable. Now, um, this only gives me all this stuff for that. Let me go to settings. And I think only for long-term support versions. Um, now I'm gonna double check this. I am pretty sure LSB release dash A. And yeah, this is 20.04.4. And I think I'm supposed to do it over here. Uh, da, 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 da. close and how do I get to the latest space is this it I don't know no that's just different I also have a different kernel installed in this guy so it's gonna be very tricky how to get everything up uh, you know what let's pull up a browser Ubuntu now it's available get update scroll down a little bit and uh, Ubuntu desktop and upgrade Ubuntu desktop. We recommend you back up all existing data. Yes. Next, uh, go to update manager, which is what I'm using right here. Another oh, software updater, which is, I think, the same. Update manage. Yeah, the same thing. Software updater. So we load that in. Applications will launch. Uh, Update Manager will inform you that you have a computer that's up to date. Click on Settings button and open the main user interface. Okay. You know what? I do have to uh, update. Like I, every time when I do a distro upgrade, they have to make sure that everything is updated to the latest version and there's no upgrade left before it works. So I'm gonna finish this update and see if it's gonna give me that option. Uh, if no upgrade appears, which is what's going on, an upgrade will not appear if upgrades to the next version of Ubuntu is not recommended yet or have not been enabled. Well, it should be recommended because I am on the latest version. The only thing that I don't have is these little um, files that needs to be updated, like Wine, which is probably not even needed. Oh, Grub, yeah, that needs to be updated. I wonder if, the re I, wonder if I have to reboot after this. Probably because it looked like it was doing some kernel stuff. Uh, your software is up to date. You can use a live patch, more secure. Okay, between restarts, I'm gonna hit okay. Go back to updater. And let's see if it does give me that option. Long-term support, settings and live patch. I have everything that they need. Download and install automatically, daily, weekly update, da 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 uh, long-term support, close. It actually does not come up. An upgrade one, if one. See, this is what I'm looking for. This thing right here. Okay, so I guess the software version won't let me do it. So, let's see. 
if this will let it. Checking for new updates, there's no development versions of LTS support. To upgrade to the latest non-LTS development, uh, set prompt normal and no, that's not right. Because 22.04 should be updated. Okay, there's still some software that needs to be upgraded. System D stuff too. Still doesn't seem right. Still like I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. It's because like all the other machines are like so clean where I only have like one or two software installed and then when I do a distro upgrade or do release upgrade, it just works. Because this has so many things embedded in, maybe it's not allowing me, which kind of sucks. To be honest, I don't even know what to do after this stuff because I haven't, this is the only, most of the time when I have Ubuntu distros installed on my laptop or anything, I do upgrade as fast as I can almost. So I never really have a problem. This is the only computer that I have probably for the last two years, I haven't done any upgrades to it. Although at least the past year, I haven't done any upgrades to it. Meaning like move to 21 or do anything crazy, but other than use it as a desktop. So maybe that's giving me a little bit of a problem. I don't know if I have to do a reboot on this because I did have a kernel that was updated. Let's find upgrade Ubuntu 22.04 terminal. Let's do that. Look, I'm even upgrade lo looking through this stuff. Let's see. Yeah, see, okay, this upgrade. Let's see, sudo app this upgrade. The following will automatically install and no longer need it. sudo app auto remove. Okay. That's two gigs of data that I don't need. Wow. Okay. sudo app install update manager core. Okay, that is newly installed. Finally, sudo do release upgrade. Wow, it is not letting me. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna reboot this machine just in case. So check you guys back in a second. All right, and we are back. Okay, let's try this again. First, I'm gonna have a terminal open, but I'm gonna do software updater. Let's see if that comes up. Okay, it's still saying that I'm on the latest release. So we could do do release upgrade now. Still won't let me go. And this is not Pop! OS or anything. This is just straight up Ubuntu. And if I go back to my previous session, maybe that's what I need. I'm like now forcing it. <laughs> it's like, maybe I have to do that. I'm just skimming through whatever. Um, software updater. Okay, so maybe I don't think that's right because I could just jump from 20 to 2204. I've done it on my other machines. Uh, usually there should be an upgrade button right here. Oops, see like this on this screen. So um, my point is maybe I have to upgrade to 21.04 and then upgrade from 21 to um, 22. Any new version, I'm gonna change that option and see if it's gonna allow me close. Now it should, let me check that again. So now let me upgrade to 20, however 21 that is now available. I'm gonna to upgrade to 21.10 through the software. And then from 21.10, they should have 22.04. Now I, I did not do it like this on my other machine. As a matter of fact, this Raspberry Pi, I had 20, dot zero four installed on this keyboard raspberry pi sd card and i manually did the whole process of installing to 22.04 with do release upgrade and it worked from there third party uh, you can re-enable them okay that's fine uh like wine is a third party one i think i have a few other kernel stuff in there that's a third party one the graphic cards is another third party one so i could just go in there and re-enable them later on but for now, it's gonna go through this whole setup of distro upgrade to 21.10. And then from 21.10, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade to 22.04. Because as of making this video, it's released a couple of days ago. So it should be available. It's even on their website that it's available. So 
I'm gonna let this uh, sit because it's gonna take some time to upgrade and then I'll check back on this in a little bit. All right, we are back with the latest update to 21.10. And it looks very similar to 22.04 right now. They actually is using like the newer GNOME with uh, desktops on top and the sidebars over here. It booted up fine. It didn't have any issues right now. So I'm hoping it's not an issue moving forward to 22.04, but let me double check this real quick. Let me see. Uh, LSB release dash A. Yeah, see I'm 21.10 right now. And I want to know what GNOME version this is. Uh, yeah, GNOME 40. Point, well, 40.5, which is in 42 yet. 42 is the latest release on 22.05. I mean 22.04. So we are on a version that's right before there, but the settings are very similar to uh, Ubuntu uh, Jammy. So anyway, uh, I'm going to see if I could get the software updater to help and I got an idea why it wasn't working before. I did a little bit of research and um, I am going to show you guys in a second. So let me pop over to software updater right now. And let's see. Yeah, see there's no upgrade button here yet. And if I go to settings, yeah, any new version, it should pop up over there. So. The, the problem I have is, or what I was just researching about, is that they won't allow you to re update your latest uh, LTS from 20.04 until they created a um, later version, which is a couple of weeks from now. Which means you have to wait for version 22.04.1 before they will actually release it to the public, like the way that we're trying to upgrade it. Now, there is a way around it. And what we gotta do is type in this command. But first, watch, if I go sudo do release upgrade, it's actually gonna say there's nothing found. So we need to go into the dev channel called dev mode. And to do that, we do the same command, but dash D. And from there, now you can actually update or upgrade to Jammy Jellyfin. Now, I know this has been a couple of days already, so this is April 24th. It's been released on April 21st, so it's officially out. It should work, like stable, like as a desktop. I've been actually using it on my laptop and it's been pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is upgrade this guy using this method over here. And yeah, I'll be back later once this is done. All right, and we are back. Um, Honestly, I don't know if it did, did upgrade. Let's let's double check that because something is popping up that I'm interested in seeing. LSB release dash A. We are on 22.04 Jammy. GNOME shell version 42. And this would not install on my other computer because it's not compatible, but it seems to work right off the bat while doing this upgrade, which is really cool because Freon did not work on my laptop install. It just said incompatible. So that is uh, pretty cool. Seems so far it's okay. Uh, this desktop icon is not working no longer. I uh, don't know why. And it should work, the game should work. But let's try uh, opening Firefox. It is using snap packages now. So I got rid of the default install uh, Firefox and it went right over to snap packages and it seemed to have loaded. It is in this weird color mode right now and it still kind of kept my theme from um, when I was at 2004. So theming is, I guess, an option uh, if you're using an older version of uh, GDK3 because 42 is supposed to be on GDK4. Uh, this is the extensions that I've had installed before. So this is the old extension. So you see this? None of this works. Incompatible, incompatible. Freon is compatible, I guess. Um, and these are the things, but I, I can't search. Um, this is not the new extension that should be used on this system. There's, there's a default one now that actually allows you to browse on the web and download extensions directly. This is not that, but still, it seems to be working. I'm gonna to have to like play around with this for a couple of days just to see what broke or what not, but so far it seems to be okay. Um, 
What other things should I check? Let me see. Settings. And if I go to about, is it on Wayland? No, it's on X11. So that might have to be changed in a little bit too because I want to use Wayland in this desktop. Um, themes. Because I am using user themes, it's allowing that. So that's pretty cool. So tweak. Yeah, GNOME tweak tools. That does work. But the extensions is missing because it uses the other extension menu. But because of that, I'm able to select the icon cursor. See, the shell is missing. Like, it's still using... This might be default. I can't tell anymore. But Legacy Applications is using Juno, which is... This is what the theme is. Juno theme. So it's still using a lot of the applications GTK3. But if I open a fold... Nope. Yeah, it's still. All right. That is it, guys. I mean, that's how I ended up upgrading from 20 to 22.04. It did take a little bit of a sidetrack because maybe I didn't need to upgrade to 21.10 to get to 21.4. Uh, but otherwise, we are here. And I, I know that the color is a little bit off from this. That's because they probably have that adaptive lighting thing because it is getting dark over here or getting later. So I might have to fix that. But not to worry. That's just a little setting thing. Otherwise, uh, so far it seems to be good. I've only used it for like a good 15-20 minutes just checking stuff real quick but it has not popped up that error message that says hey this is crashed, that crashed, do you want to send a, a message or something. So, so far that is good. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. I will make a follow up video probably in the future if things start to break. I mean if it still runs perfectly fine, no problems, I might not make that update uh, video but if things start to fall apart and break and it requires me to do a fresh install, I will make a video for that just to let you guys know what I ran into. But so far, so good. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.